Welcome back everyone, my name is Tony Lau and welcome to my channel. Today we talk about plants with feng shui. Plants are the most common item in feng shui because they are the function of accelerating wealth, gathering wealth, and blocking negative energy. They also prevent the leakage of wealth. Also we can use them to increase the Wing Chun energy which we use for studying in school or help with our desk jobs. Primarily we divide plants in three categories. Before we begin, gently hit the like button for some good luck today. Plants may save you in the long run, but the like button will get you good luck right now, today. Let's dive into it. The first category we have is water plant. And water plant can be anything that grows in water. Primarily, we use water plant to generate or accelerate well for that year or permanently for your main entrance. We want to put them in a spot with good airflow. I always recommend right by the door as you open it, there should be a water plant there. Wherever you come in the house with the highest traffic area. So for business, put it by your main door where your customer come in for house. Front door is the most obvious choice. We also put the water plant in all of the wealth generating spot each year. Primarily in the red star number seven, white star number eight, purple star number nine. And these are in our northwest, west, and northeast spot this year. You can do that at home, in your office, or for your business wherever you have influence over. What type of plant would be considered water plant? The most common would be bamboo that you can buy in Asian gift store. I think I've seen them in Ikea before too. But any kind of bamboo, you put, just get a vase of water, put stick one in and that's it. That's your most common water plant. But don't put them in dirt. One of my coworkers thought it would, good, it would be a good idea to grow them in dirt. But it changes the game after you put it in dirt. Because it's not a water plant anymore when you put it in dirt. Don't do that if you want to use it as a feng shui set. Putting it in dirt and watering it does not make it a water plant. You have to grow in actual water. Just water, no dirt. You put rocks in it, but it's gotta be majority water. I mean, a lot of plants can grow in water too. You can use flowers. Color lily is usually a common choice, but they don't tend to last too long compared to like looking bamboo. So I recommend something that lasts a while. You don't have to replace every couple weeks. Amazon frog bite also works. If you have a pond, those are hard to like adjust and put in a corner. They float in water ponds. Mosquito ferns is another choice I've seen. Horns for duckweed. For something pretty, you can try water hyacinth. Or in Asian culture, we like to do water lilies. During the time around Chinese New Year, we like to plant water lily in the home. For good luck. I haven't done that myself. They're hard to find in the US. And some of the brie I found smell pretty bad too after a while. So I don't recommend that. Number two, we have the sharp needle plant. Not necessarily like sharp as a needle like cactus. Cactus is one of them. But any plant with the leaf shape like a needle or sharp looking triangular shape. So a good one would be like aloe vera. Even though they won't like cut you if you touch it, they still look like a needle. I will put that plant in this following category too. So what do we use this type of plant for? Primarily we use this type of plant for blocking negative energy. So any kind of construction or object outside your house that look quite unpleasant. For whatever reason, it might cause you negative effect. So say like, if there's a narrow gap that are facing your house, we call that like a surge of energy charging toward your house. Then generally we put something out the window wherever you can see that narrow gap. In feng shui, when we talk about house structure, if there's two houses that's really close compared to the row, then that will cause like a kind of surge of energy, like a canyon. It pushes like a bunch of energy toward wherever it's pointing at across the street. It 
Your house happened to be there. You're gonna surf like negative energy. That might cause you a lot of issue at home. So generally we would put our needle type plan at the window or outside to kind of block those type of energy from entering your house. If you live like in a busy intersection where a bunch of cars look like they're charging toward your house and you don't have any plants outside blocking that flow, you want to consider putting a needle plant out the window where you're looking into that intersection. Otherwise, like you could be getting sick or having a set of bad luck running in life. That usually happens when you have a surge of native energy running into your house. So what we consider needle plant, cactus, aloe vera, any kind of yucca plant would fall in this category as well. Comment down below if you're not sure what type of plant you have. I'll be happy to answer them too. And our final category is leafy plants. These are the plants that grow on dirt. Uh, remember how, how I said on the bamboo where you put it on dirt? By putting a water plant in dirt, you essentially converted the plant from the first category to the dirt category. And we use this type of plant for uh, different purposes. Primarily, we use the leafy plants for two purposes, either for gathering wealth or to prevent a leakage in wealth. For houses, we generally have a permanent well spot. Every house has one, unless your house is triangle shaped and that triangle happened to be the well spot, then you got one of your spots cut out. So let me quickly go through the possible permanent well spot you can put this plant at. First example would be like your house pointing south, all depends on your main entrance. If your main entrance faces south, then your well spot will be in the due east spot. If your house faces southwest, then your well spot will be in the northwest. Your house faces west, then your well spot will be in the north spot. Your house faces northwest, then your well spot will be in the south corner. Your house faces north, your well spot will be in the southeast. Your house faces northeast then the well spot will be west. Your house faces east, then your well spot will be southwest. Your house faces southeast, your well spot will be the northeast. And that sums up our permanent well spot rotation. If you're not sure, comment down below. I can answer a question for you too. So generally we put a big leaf plant there. So just a plant that has a leaf bigger than the branch would consider a big leaf. Don't get one of those like small plants, like so bamboo wouldn't fall in this category. Big leaf plant that grows on dirt. You can go as wild as like a banana plant that has like huge leaf. So leakage prevention means like preventing money from leaking out of your wallet. That's the most literal description I can give you. So you plug the hole, preventing money from leaking out. That's really all, all it is. The most common leakage I've seen is where you have a front door and you open it and straight toward the front door you see a window. That's a leakage. Now what we do is we put a pair of the leafy plant to block their path because money tend to come in from your front door. If it goes out from the window, you want to pluck that. So two leafy plant would block that. Generally recommend hanging a plant or you can put like on the floor, but that takes a lot of space. So hanging it saves you more space and look better too. I generally get the plant that hangs, that have leaves that kind of hang down. So they look better, play around with it. Let me know what you end up with. If you decide to put this set on your house. Here's the one from my house. Besides blocking a leakage, we also use it to block health issues too. Such as if you have a kitchen and a bathroom facing each other, we call that water and fire clashing. You never want to have element clashing inside your home because that create argument and a lot of negative emotion around the house. If you know that you have some temper issue among your family member, see if your bathroom is facing the kitchen directly. Then you should consider putting some leafy plant between the kitchen and the bathroom. A good test would be like you stand in the kitchen, you can see the interior of the bathroom. 
then you have that issue. I also mentioned Wing Chun energy. I generally recommend people get a Wing Chun Pagoda. It's easier, it doesn't die. You like plants? You can also put four green plants at the Wing Chun spot every year. This year, the Wing Chun spot is in the E sector. You put four leafy plants at this area. For simplicity, I'll use four lucky bamboo. Putting it there this year will boost your Wing Chun energy. That helps with studying. If you work a desk job, if you have anyone that work in those areas in the house, children mostly, you need the studying energy. People that work in offices need the energy as well. So it's great for a large variety of people. The most common leafy plant are Emma and Golden Kuzu. Or you can put like ivory type of plant that hangs down. Just not the poison kind. You don't want that in your house, especially with children. Nothing poisonous. Leave it outside the house if you want to plant though. And that's the three major category for plants in Feng Shui. Just remember, plants will use it to accelerate wealth, gather wealth, block negative energy, and block leakage, and also create Wang Cheng energy. And if you made the video this far, consider subscribing and hit the notification as well so you'll be notified for our future video. If you like this video, share it to your friend and don't forget to hit the like button for some good luck if you haven't done so already. And comment down below if you have any question about plants around your home. I can tell you like what you can use it for. A lot of time you don't want to go out and buy new plants and you have a lot of plants. Say if you have a green thumb at home, you have like tons of plants. I can tell you what those plants can be used for repurpose them so you don't have to waste money to go buy extra one. I know some plants can cost a fortune these days. Until next time.